Hey, good uh, good afternoon. It's 12 noon, and it's time for our weekly message for young people from Mount Zion United Methodist Church at Peach Bottom. I'm Pastor Roger, welcoming you aboard. We're glad you're here. Got a question for you. Don't I always have a question? But I do have a question for you. Have you ever uh, lost something that was very precious to you? Um, lots of places have uh, lost and found boxes, or even whole lost and found departments. Um... Uh, but you know, an awful lot of that stuff never gets back to the people who lost it in the first place. Have you ever, have you ever found something that you lost? I mean, really? Uh, if so, how'd you feel when you found it? Pretty good, huh? Believe it or not, I actually lost, and I, I hate to confess this, but I actually lost a whole computer once upon a time. In that case, I never did get it back, never found out what happened to it. I hope somebody enjoyed it. But in our Bible lesson today, Jesus told a story about a man who lost something that was really, really very precious to him. Jesus told the story of a man who had two sons. The younger son asked his father to give him his share of the money that would be his when his father died. Well, the father gave it to him, and the boy left home to go out and see the world and do whatever he wanted probably a mistake. The father was just brokenhearted. He had lost one of his sons. Anyway, it wasn't long before the boy wasted all his money on wild living. He had no money left to buy anything to eat. So get, get this, he got a job feeding pigs. That was kind of a smelly, gross job, you think? But that boy was so hungry that even the rotten food he fed to the pigs looked good to him. Well, the boy, after a while, looked around at the mess he'd gotten himself into and said, You know, my father's servants live better than this. I'll return home. I'll go back home, and I will just beg for my father's forgiveness, ask him to take me back, but as a hired servant. So he did. And the boy, as he was approaching his home, his loving father, who'd been watching and hoping for his son to come back, he saw him coming. And he ran to meet him. The father threw his arms around the boy and hugged him and kissed him. And the father was so happy that his son had returned that he gave him a new robe and put rings on his fingers. And he ordered his servants to prepare a feast, a banquet, a party. He said, my son was dead and now he is alive. He was lost, but now he is found. Well, Jesus told this story to show the kind of love that God has for his children, and that's you and me. When one of God's children strays away, he always welcomes his children back with open arms when the child returns home. Aren't you glad you have a heavenly father who loves you, even though you may not deserve it? I sure am. So let's pray together. Dear Father, we thank you for your unconditional love, your unending forgiveness. We're thankful that even when we stray away, you, could, you welcome us home with open arms. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's our message for young people today. We hope you'll join us next week. But between now and then, hey, how about if you like and share this video so that your online friends on Facebook can see it, and that includes your family, your brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles. How about your neighbors, your school classmates, whatever. And if you're watching on our YouTube channel, make sure you follow our YouTube channel. It makes it easy to find next time. So we thank you for being here. And remember that you can watch this anytime, again and again and again throughout the week. We'll see you next Sunday at 12 noon with a new message for young people. And until then, you just have a wonderful and blessed week. Bye-bye now.